Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss what is community transmission, what are the different stages of spread of coronavirus. So the outbreak of this coronavirus started in Wuhan in China and later it was given the name COVID-19 that is coronavirus disease and 19 because it started in 2019 and the official name was given by WH. Now it is important to note that it has been declared as pandemic by WHO. So first we are going to discuss what is the difference between outbreak, epidemic and pandemic and then we are going to discuss the stages of transmission. For regular updates, please join our telegram channel. The link is given in description as well as in the pinned comment or you can directly search it by the name of GK Today YouTube. This is the link. So it is important to note that it took almost 67 days for coronavirus to infect 1 lakh people and the next 1 lakh people were infected in 11 days and next to next 1 lakh people were infected in 4 days. So you can see how quickly it is spreading. So first and foremost thing is what is an outbreak. So News 18 infographics has explained it very beautifully. Outbreak means when COVID-19 infections started and it was limited to Wuhan. So it was outbreak. So as you can see, it was limited to a particular area only. Now, when it started spreading outside and it started affecting the other areas, it became epidemic. So an epidemic is when there is a sudden increase in the reports of any infectious outbreak in a particular area. And third one is pandemic. It means the epidemic spread over several countries or continents. So this was the major difference. Now we are going to discuss the stages of transmission of coronavirus. So first stage was imported cases. It means only those people who had travel history. So only such people were infected specifically who came from China or from any other area which was infected. So this was the first stage. The second stage was local transmission. Now let's understand it with the help of an example. Suppose P1 came back from China recently. Now if P1 is going to interact with P2 who never visited China or any other country which is infected right now. So even though P2 do not have any travel history, P2 may be infected. So the stage 2 is related to local transmission. That means the cases, those who had travel history, who came in contact with the local person. Now, the third and most dangerous stage is community transmission. It means this P2 who do not have any travel history. If P2 is going to interact with other locals like L1, L2, L3, L4. So this is something which is very serious. So now these locals who never visited any other country even though they became vulnerable to this virus. So this is something which we are trying to avoid. And recently Prime Minister announced lockdown for 21 days to prevent this community transmission. And how it is going to be stopped? It can be stopped with the help of social distancing. So if there is going to be a social distancing, that means people are not going to interact much and therefore this spread can be stopped because the interaction between P2 and various other locals was stopped due to social distancing and due to self-isolation. And the last stage is epidemic. We have already discussed epidemic means almost every other person is infected in that particular area. So these were the important points of this so these were the important points. Thank you and that's all for the day.